Review of the 20th of March 2014 would be to begin the implementation of site selection procedures immediately upon entry into force and install seismic research observatories, ROSE, the best of existing technology, ET some of the sites. Since SRO production and operational experience exists now, this procedure might be carried out in a period of about six months, or even less, if existing sites were suitable. Data would be recorded on magnetic tape, retrieved periodically, and physically transferred, that is, Satellite Communications Secret NNN Secret Page 01 Geneva 0373 0 6 W group of dashes 0559391013090 Z slash 5301012411 Zenmar 78 FMU's mission Geneva to 6 state Washington immediate 7039 Info M Embassy London Priority M Embassy Moscow Priority SECRET Section 02 of 02 Geneva 03773X does use pass to dough would not be used. IT would be desirable to have an authenticator unit added to the SRO equipment. This would establish the principle of authentication from the beginning. Without authentication, the data would not be useful for making verification decisions, but would serve for studying the propagation characteristics of the region. The value for this latter purpose would be significantly better than for data from existing Soviet stations. 6. This second approach would appear to have a number of advantages. IT would show good faith on the part of both countries in moving promptly to improve verification. Provide the opportunity to establish good working relations before the installation of the larger and more complex ISI network. And ease the time pressure on testing and production of ISI. Moreover, SRO installations Cheryl P. Walter declassified slash released U.S. Department of State EO systematic review the 20th of March 2014 Cheryl P. Walter declassified slash released U.S. Department of State EO systematic review the 20th of March 2014 now exist in a number of countries around the world and IT would seem difficult for the Soviets to advance substantive arguments arguments against their use, since they are secret secret page 02 Geneva 03773 02 of 02 10130101Z generally acceptable. Also since the SRO sensors are used in the proposed ISI design, this would refer the Soviet contention that the ISI design is excessive with respect to seismic detection capability. Although the additional procedures beyond these developed for ISIS needed for utilization of ROSE in the interim would be simple. IT would be an additional matter to negotiate. 7. During the first phase, the interim period, site selection for all sites could be completed. During the second phase, the ROSE would be converted to ISIS by replacement of the burr hole package and surface equipment and the ISIS would be installed ET the remaining sites. A date in the agreement for the beginning of the second phase should be established, but with a provision for a deferral if the ISIS were not ready AT that time. This second phase could be further divided into two steps, with only single stations installed first and then after some set time period, arrays. Deferring the array construction might have several advantages. 
IT would permit the Soviets to become familiar with the advanced system and data management procedures in the graduate program, would provide additional time to optimize array design and to expand data management facilities to handle the substantial increase in data, would allow the possibility to revise design of the array elements if troubles appeared in the deployed single ISIS and spread the cost over a longer period of time. 8. The phased approach sketched above would demonstrate increasing instrumental sophistication with time to match increasing concern with verification. This could help establish the principle that the system should be secret secret page 03 Geneva 03773 02 of 02 101 3010 reviewed periodically and upgraded to maintain the system AT state of the art level. Thus continuing to maintain confidence in the viability and effectiveness of the verification program. Warren Key Cheryl P. Walter Declassified Slash Released U.S. Department of State EO Systematic Review The 20th of March 2014 Cheryl P. Walter Declassified Slash Released U.S. Department of State EO Systematic Review The 20th of March 2014 Secret NNN Cheryl P. Walter Declassified Slash Released U.S. Department of State EO Systematic Review The 20th of March 2014 Cheryl P. Walter Declassified Slash Released U.S. Department of State EO Systematic Review The 20th of March 2014